Hey guys, what's going on? And just before I get into this video, if you do fancy yourselves any coins for Ultimate Team, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Use CalFreezy at checkout and you actually grab yourself a 10% discount. It has been increased from 5, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, more importantly, I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video and today we're going to be taking a look at FIFA 14's most overpowered players. Now with that in mind guys, um, I have made this video kind of based on my own experiences and also what a few of you guys have said on Twitter. So please keep that in mind when I'm making this that there's a little bit of input from you guys but the majority of it is mainly just my experiences from playing FIFA and who I just thought was filthy overpowered and just gave me so many headaches. Anyways, in goals. Of course, you've got Manuel Neuer. Now, a few of the players in here, guys, um, of course, you know, I could put uh, Team of the Year, Ibrahimovic, players like that, but you kind of expect them to already be overpowered, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm kind of picking a few of the cheaper ones that you kind of would just look at and think, yeah, I'm sure he's decent in the game, when in reality, they are absolute monsters. So... Like I said, first up, we have got Neuer, and I guess that's a little bit of an exception to what I just spoke about. But we do have David Luiz, who's only an 82-rated centre-back, yet some will say he is hands down the best centre-back in the game. And I have to agree with them. Um, this guy is just, he's everywhere, man. If you want him to be a centre-back, okay. If you want him to be a striker, why the hell not? He'll play striker for you. The guy just goes up and down the pitch all day long. Next up, we have got Mangala. This guy, man, uh, unfortunately, he does play in the Portuguese league so um, there's not too many chances you get to put him into teams he does have a French link though so uh, you do sometimes see him in some French squads things like that but when you get to play him he is unreal he is kind of like a cheaper Thiago Silva this guy is so fast and you can just imagine pairing him up with David Silva um, David Luiz sorry not David Silva what the hell uh, David Luiz is just insane anyways our two fullbacks we've got Alaba on the left now we all know Alaba is a good left back but in this game he is the best left back this guy just flies up and down those wings like a monster he's fast um he does good defensive duties and he can actually score a fair few goals he scored a few goals for me and on the right um We've actually got Pizcek. A lot of people will go for Danny Alves over Pizcek. But for me, Pizcek is just so fast. And he catches anybody, literally anybody back there, he will catch them up. Next up, we have got Quadrado. And this is probably, you guys are a little bit like, whoa, how did he make it into here? But guys, please try him out and try and try out some long shots with him. I have scored some really weird long shots with him. Because he's quite a small guy. Um, he looks a little bit skinny in the game, I suppose. You probably think, you know, he's probably not got any power behind his shots and like that but this guy scores with long shots like it's nobody's business he's got really good pace of course we all know know him for his speed and he's actually got good dribbling as well and i believe he has four star skills so you can do the ronaldo chop to cut inside um next up we have de bruyne there and that guy oh my god i don't know why he is a non-rare like what was going through ea's head when he made him a non-rare because in this game he's so good and of course he's got his chelsea version and you've also got his wolfsburg version i believe is a club um he went Went to so yeah I mean you've got that option to play him in the BPL and the Bundesliga which is always a very nice option and yeah that guy is so good and you can just imagine a non-rare player his price is gonna be dirt cheap and yeah he's been overpowered as hell for me anyways the other center attacking mid is actually Guarin now I'm sure you guys have your all uh, your own opinions on who you think is overpowered and I want to know who you um, have as your most overpowered players down in the comments so if you let me know who do you think is the most overpowered players in FIFA 14 then please Please let me know in the comments. I am very interested to see what you guys have to say. But like I said about Guarine, this guy's long shots, for me, best long shots in the game. Hands down. The guy is unreal. You get a little bit of space, and he's going to give the keeper some issues. He's definitely the player I've scored the most long shots with in the game. And again, because he's 81 rated, he plays in the Serie A, he goes for almost nothing. Anyways, on the left-hand side, we have Shirla. And Shirla, for me, is so stupidly good in this game. There's actually quite a few um, Chelsea players so far. I believe we already have three, which is quite a lot. And uh, yeah, to anyone who's used Shirla, I know you guys are going to agree with me on this. He is a really good left midfielder fielder next up we have Benteke another Premier League player again I've noticed we got quite a few Premier League players in here but uh, it's probably because I use that league the most because I'm a sweaty little prick but regardless we have none other than Benteke we all know his strength is almost unmatched in this game he is so strong he's got the pace to go along with it and for me I prefer him to Lukaku because Lukaku sorry because I feel as though this guy can actually finish his dinner you put a plate in front of him and he will finish that dinner. Whereas Lukaku, I'm not too sure. He always leaves a little bit 
bit lying around after his dinner and it just he, he comes close but he's not as good as Benteke for me and then of course none other than your man Obama Yang people have cried they have wept they have they have licked their wounds over this guy this guy will score goals on you just every single game every time I come up against him he's filthy and that's why he is almost in every Bundesliga side I put together anyways guys hope you did all enjoy this video and like I said midway through please please let me know who you think are your most overpowered players I want to hear what you guys have to say of course, you can say Ronaldo, Messi, and things like that. But those are the players you expect to be good. Robin, of course, is amazing. I, I, I expect him to be good. But let me know some players that you don't expect to be good that turn out just to be ridiculous monsters. I want to know in the comments. Hope you guys all have a great day. And don't forget to leave a like, guys. See you all later. Bye-bye.